What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. As most of you guys know, I have a new car, right? So I ended up getting the 440i BMW. Um, if you guys didn't see that video, make sure you do that. But in today's video, I'm ba I basically want to talk about the things that I love about this car and the things that I don't like because obviously there's things that you like and things you don't like. Don't get me wrong, like this is a great car. I love this car. I'm like, it was, it was, there's actually not that much things that I hate about it. And it's not even that I hate it, it's just that I wish it had something or like, it just, you'll see what I'm talking about. But if you guys are new and you guys enjoy my content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, make sure you like the video and uh, all that, you hear me? Alright, let's get the bad things out of the way. So we're going to go ahead and talk about what I dislike about this car. And one of the things being is that it has like no plugs, bro. Like, if you're looking for like a USB I don't know if it's like I don't that I don't know where it is or they like hit it somewhere but this car literally has no ports bro like it just doesn't have any like I've searched everywhere for it like I don't know where it is it does have only it has one USB port but that's it like that's it you don't have no aux nothing nothing like that um so maybe there is one because I've seen videos where like it wasn't this car exactly but i seen videos where they had like another port like hidden under the the glove compartment i think it's called a glove compartment yeah but i checked mines and mine doesn't have that so i don't know i don't know what happened but yeah i don't have that so that's one of the things that i don't like i don't know why um they don't have the uh the glasses thing where you can put your glasses like to you know store it or maybe it's in a different location but again i have no idea where it would be if did they have it because i get that this car is like a sporty look so they probably don't have any like extra stuff that you don't really need but yeah that's another thing just be like because in my honda i always had like a pair of glasses or like sunglasses and stuff like that stored ready to go for you know whenever and this car doesn't have that third thing is like storage space like I, the trunk is big okay the, so the trunk that it's pretty big but in terms of like if you're in the car if you're in the front or the back like you don't really have space to put anything the only thing you have is like the two the two cups holders thing but that they're super small either way i think you know what i think i'm gonna wait let me wait till i get home to really show you guys what i'm talking about because right now you guys are just seeing me and i want to show you what i'm talking about so like i was telling you guys so these cups like they're cool enough but i feel like they're not big enough or like they always i always run out of i don't know like stuff doesn't fit for some reason it just doesn't fit right another thing guys that i wish my car had was touchscreen this thing is not touchscreen for some reason on like the m sport models i guess they don't have touchscreen but if you get like a luxury like a like a i don't know 750 series or like 750i or something like that then it's touchscreen but this one for some reason i feel like it would have been so easy if it was touchscreen like i would be able to just touch what i want to do or like move the map around and stuff and it'd be so much easier to do things but um yeah that's another thing yeah honestly there's not that much things that i don't like about this car and the things that i don't like are not even that important it's like it's, it's little things you feel me but those are just a few things that are kind of different and just you know annoying sometimes oh wait i gotta actually show you guys something outside that i hate i don't know if every model or not every model of like if like every um every model of my car has this size wheel but i absolutely especially if you live in new york i absolutely hate for some it's not it doesn't even look like they're that thin but i don't like how thin the the rims are or the wheel is just because um in new york there's just potholes everywhere and if you're not paying attention i've already hit a couple holes and i'm very careful in driving and stuff like that just because i'm scared of the holes popping my wind my wheels and the rims like it will bend the rim and for this car a rim would cost a lot of money and the wheel too so you know how when when you have when you have a basket when you like bounce it on rocks i don't know if you've done that and it has like that bubble i i did that to one of my tires already and i went to try to buy a new one and I went to like ask a, hold on, where I gotta get the light? Oh, right here, look good. And I went to uh, like a, a wheel place, a wheel place? I don't know. Whatever you get tires from, I went there and I asked them if they had, because I want to get the same exact tire, but they didn't have it. 
And so he said that it's fine. I can run on it for a while like that. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna keep doing. Guys, by the way, I haven't told you guys, but I ordered all of my parts. It, it came out to like $2,000 for everything that I wanted for my car. Um, I'm waiting for it to get here. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna keep you guys updated though. I am gonna put it on myself for the most part. Hopefully I can do it. And you guys will see a big ass car transformation. So right now I still have it. Um, well, I'll show you guys. I still haven't done any, anything to it. I was waiting for for the weather, the weather to get warmer for me to start doing stuff, but I ordered all of the parts that I wanted. You guys will see, I'm not gonna tell you guys, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but when it gets here, I'm gonna put it on. I'll probably record it for you guys, and then, yeah. It's cold as hell right now. Okay, so I think that's it for the things that I don't like about this car. This car is just an amazing car, to be honest. Like, it's fast, it looks nice, it's like, you know, even though if it's a four door, it still looks hella sporty. Like, it's, it's just nice, you feel me? It's, it's a nice car, so I love this car. I be trying to keep it clean 24 seven. Okay, now let's talk about the good things, the things that I love about this car besides everything. Let's start inside because it's fucking cold as freak outside. Okay, first things first. I love this iDrive system thing that it has. Like, you have so many options. You can do so much things with this. You know, it's touch screen. How come this is touch screen, but then the actual screen is not? So yeah, you can like actually move stuff by just Hovering your finger all, all around it and stuff, which is kind of cool. Yo, there's so many good things about this car. I'm going to show you. Okay, so another thing is, for oh my god, I can't even get into a car unless it has this parking sensor thing on. Because this thing would really be saving your life in terms of like, so you don't hit anything. So basically, if I turn it on, wait, I'll turn it on, right? And you guys will see here that it has like these lights. So if I get too close to something, it'll start like beeping red. Right now it's uh, green and yellow, which is fine. But you can kind of see that if you get start close to stuff, then it starts like freaking blinking red. And yeah, that 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 I love this thing honestly because knowing me, I never know. Um, I never know how close I am to a car, but after having this, this helps us a ton so you still you know can't trust the machine always but it does help a little bit another thing is that i love this hold on let me put this in the back i love these seats because like when you sit here you're like these things right here like hug you bro like you sit there and you feel like you're 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 really gripped in or like comfortable it, like hugs you especially when you're driving fast I'm not saying I drive fast. If my mom watching, I don't drive fast at all. Um, so yeah, it really like hugs you and feels really, really comfortable. I don't know how comfortable the back seats are because I've never sat there myself. So I don't really know. And uh, I don't know. I have no idea. I can't tell you anything about the back spots because I just don't sit there. I don't know much about it, okay? The steering wheel is, is amazing. Like it's super comfortable. It's like very responsive uh, and like, um, yeah, it's just it's just an amazing steering wheel. I'm not gonna lie, I just love it. I have, I don't really use my paddle shifters. I don't know if people really use them like that. Like I just don't use it. I'm probably just too lazy and I just, I just forget. Honestly, I'd be forgetting that I even have it. Um, yeah, honestly, I just forget. And then this is actually really cool. The display is different because usually BMWs don't really switch their display. Mine is a, uh, switches with modes like you have different modes so if i put like sport um it will switch and it'll look like that and then if i put comfort then it'll switch and it'll look like that and then if i put eco then it'll look like that which is kind of interesting because bmw is not really known for like you know fancy this head uh, display or anything like that but um i usually have it like this and also the color you see so right now it's like red but it depends um, that will switch depending on like whether it's dark whether it's uh, bright outside So if it's bright, it'll turn white and then if it's dark, then it'll go um, red like that like that how it is which is which is kind of interesting and Yeah, this is actually really cool that the back I mean my friend was sitting there yesterday I think two days, no two days ago and I didn't know that my 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 passenger, not the the back seats of my car heat up as well, and it's not through the front. Like it has its own heat up thing. I've never had that before. I didn't have that in my car before this one. And yeah, so if you want your ass warmers in the back, when you you know when you ride with me, then you know you have it. But I don't really like that my ass being warm. I I just don't like that, bro. A lot of people will be liking that. Like my friend be sitting there, he like that shit. Hey, you weirdo, but. Nah, I don't like that ass thing being warm. My friend Richard, who you guys saw in my last video, 
He liked that shit. I'm not gonna lie. He liked that ass former thing. And I just don't like it, bro. I don't like my butt cheek being warm. So it's a great thing to have, but I just don't like it for me. My steering wheel also, it has, uh, what's it called? The heating steering wheel, which is nice for the cold. If you live in the, like a cold area and you want your uh, steering wheel to be nice and warm, this car has it. So, oh my gosh, since I told you guys that I've never sat in my back seat. Oh boy, I just, oh my goodness, I'm doing it right now. And there's like, the back seat is definitely not for tall people or maybe it's because I have my seat all the way back, but I don't know. I actually feel like it's hard as hell back here though. It's nowhere like, hold on, let me turn around my light. Can y'all see me back? It's nowhere like my, the front seat. The front seat is super comfortable. These back seats are hard as, it's like hard as hell. What the hell? But they're still not that bad, but it's probably because I sit in my front seat so much and this one's not really worn out because people just don't sit in my car, right? I don't, people just don't get in my car like that. I'd be going to work and that's it. But if you guys are, look from here, I love the space. Like if you, if, if you are in the front, like you have a, a lot of space to put your legs, whether, because, even though you don't have that much space to put stuff, but what else do you need besides your phone? But right. But yeah, it's like so much space. Like you can see everything from back here. It looks super nice from here. Actually, it doesn't look like this when I'm sitting there. But from the back, it looks really nice. Um, the, it's, it's just, bro, I don't even know, bro. It's just nice, bro. Sunroof, of course. Like I said, you can't have a car without a sunroof. Do I use it? Probably no. Not really. I barely use it ever. But still nice to know that you have one. You know what I mean? But I got to move my car into the garage because... Yeah, hold on. I actually didn't get a thumbnail. I gotta get a little thumbnail real quick, and then I gotta. I'm gonna show you guys the parking thing, how it works, because I gotta park my car back in the garage anyway. Okay, so if you guys look here, I'm putting it in drive, right? I'm gonna turn on the parking aid, because I'm going. I'm parking it in my garage, and you can guys, you guys can see. Uh, okay, you guys can already hear it beeping, and you guys can see there how it works so if i get really close to something you guys will see it will turn red and it'll start beeping faster and faster the, the closer i get to it yeah you guys see that yeah so that's that i don't really like getting too close to stuff so i'm gonna back up a little bit because i have room and yeah and you of course the backup camera clear clearer than my camera no cap but yes that's it but yeah guys that will be the end of the video if you guys did enjoy it i would really appreciate it if you guys drop a big like on the video subscribe to the channel if you're new and let me know if you guys want to see more of my car because like i told you guys i did order a whole bunch of parts for it that i will be putting like a spoiler backs review a lot of stuff i don't want to spoil it but yeah guys i'm just waiting for it to get here and we'll do all of that but that would be all guys i will see you guys in the next video bye